Oh, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. <clears throat> Crawls to, uh, you know, there's many, many, uh, hasn't been just year, there's been this year, it's been many, many years of hard work, uh, disappointments and uh, a lot of lows. Uh, getting to the opportunity of uh, playing in the grand final. And <clears throat> I um, couldn't be more prouder for uh, uh, those blokes in that change room in there. Now they've got the opportunity to uh, create, a, you know, create a little bit of their own history. Um, we're only halfway there though. We, we've got another game to play and um, <clears throat> by no means will we, uh, we will be um, you know, looking too far ahead, we've got uh, we've got a you know a week of preparation now. We're going to be playing a, a very classy football team, whoever it is, Melbourne End or uh, um, Roosters. You must be so proud, Mark. <coughs> Defensively, they've, they've, they haven't been known as a defensive side for a long time. Yeah. Um, tonight, they just kept turning up for each other. It wasn't pretty, but hmm. time and again they saved themselves. <coughs> you know. No, it wasn't pretty. I I, I think we can. Um, yeah, we certainly. I believe we can attack a, attack a little bit better, but defensively, <clears throat> um, you can't you, you can't defend like that if you um, don't believe in each other and don't have the um, the trust and camaraderie. It's a big part of um, it's not just defensive strategy. It's not just just structures. You you've got to have trust and. If, if you're not mates with each other, there's no trust. I leave it to Pup. Um, I kept asking him where he was at. I was going to get him off with six or seven to go before the break, and um, he was playing his way through it and. I said to him at half time, I'll give you, I'll give you seven or eight minutes, and then I'll get taps on, and then I think he went a little bit longer. <clears throat> but um, again, it's um, you don't get to this situation if you haven't got those style of play, or the, the, this stage of the season if you haven't got those types of players in your footy team. Um, at this stage, of the year, they're the guys that you are um, you're banking on playing well. Um, but for us, getting to the semi-finals <clears throat> goes back to. Uh, so many of the younger players who filled in when we had injuries at the start of the year. We had Origin representatives, um, players like Sam Williams who started the season off for us. Um, you know, we had you know, Lever filling in for Josh, um, Hudson filling in for our back rowers. There was a lot of players who um, are part of this uh, journey. And again, we're only uh, we're, we're only halfway through. We've got another game to go, and I want the I want the players to. Um, Enjoy this week. I want them to really embrace the hype and the uh, um, the understanding of um, the the celebrations of being in a grand final with the breakfast and those types of things. If you want to be a big time player, you got to handle that hype. If you want to be a uh, a consistent semi final player, a player who's played in big games, um, the the guys who are consistently good in those arenas are they handle the uh, or they embrace the environment this week, but. Uh, We'll repair ourselves over the next two days and then uh, jump into some work going into going into next weekend. Ricky, 220,000 years, can you give us a sense of what this means to the city and the people? I mean, you've got to be a night for the nation. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't say it uh, lightly that there's a wonderful relationship here between the Canberra Raiders and our community and region. Um, we put a lot of effort and work into the, uh, the community. Um, we're very much a community-driven club, and they they repaid us tonight. I think, at really realistically, they really helped us get over the line tonight. You mentioned uh, repair. <coughs> Obviously, no, I don't know about how they are or where they're at at the moment with injuries, but we've got some bumps and bruises. But if you haven't at this time of the year, it's a um, <coughs> you're a very lucky footy team. Uh, physically, I don't think we're too bad, but. Um, you know that that's another thing we had to put up with all week was you know people publicly and um, uh, uh, re re reading that w you know we just had to turn up tonight because 
they had a lot of injuries, they had a lot of change. Um, they, they, they didn't play well last week. They're a Wayne, they're a Wayne Bennett coach football team. Um, I stressed that all week, how he would, he would definitely have them up. He's a very experienced uh, uh, coach at this time of the year. And if, if I had a weak player, a weak, weak mental mind, um, if I was feeling comfortable with myself as a coach and we trained differently, the players had a different mindset, we'd get beaten tonight and you can see why. The way, the way he had them up and ready to play, um, moving Burgess into the middle, they were there for a, they were there for a war tonight, and it was. <clears throat> um, I thought it was a shoulder charge, and I said in one interview out there that, you know, if if our game's pulling those things up, it, it, it's it, it's it's uh, wrong. But it wasn't a shoulder charge. I, I don't think. I, I think did he get on report for hitting high? Well, I think he's. You got to understand, he's got a wonderful technique. I don't, I don't believe he's got anything to answer to. Um, he's hit the ball, and there's been a lot of other commentators um, uh, see more replays than me at the moment. Who uh, I asked after the game, and you know they've all been very confident in the fact that there's more of a bit of a whiplash. Um, but again, I, I don't know. You guys have seen it probably more than me. I don't know if Papa did make connection uh, accidentally with his head. Well, I don't believe I don't believe that technique and style of tackle um, would be any more than um, uh, careless. Ten shards, Ted being in the boys' rally the twelve men that down the line. What's that mean to you? That game tonight, and we've won a few games like that this year. Was one in. Uh, uh, November, December, January last year. And that's all the hard work. Um, you know, it's a credit to their uh, resilience. All good? Thank you. Thank you.